Alright guys, so Creatures of Scenario has updated and they added in three new creatures in this update. And those creatures are the Nolumith, the Verza, and the Muraville. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get them and I'll also be showcasing their stats and abilities and all that epic stuff. So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so to get two of the new creatures, what you want to do is click on your mushrooms up here and then go to limited creatures and two out of the three new creatures will be right here. So the Nolumith and the Muraville are inside of the rotation store and um, yeah you just gotta buy them for mushrooms and the muraville is quite expensive but on the other hand you know lumith is not that expensive it's only 1500 so um, yeah that is how you get them okay so first things first we're gonna be checking out the no lumith and as you can see these are the stats it has 4300 hp it does 300 damage 3900 weight it takes 42 minutes to grow and it's a tier 4 and overall for a tier 4 that's not that bad and plus it is a flying creature so i think it's pretty balanced all right so let's check out its creature abilities now and as you can see it has the bleed defense of 40 percent 1.5 poison and 0.5 radiation and it has the iron stomach ability and uh it is a photo carny so that means that we actually don't need to drink water okay so now let's actually read the description just to get to know this creature a little bit better okay so nolumus are large blind flyers and humble attitude and simple motive despite having no eyes the whiskers and sensors on their bodies make up for their eyes as they are super keen when it comes to micro movements and smells these frills also contain toxins. They make their nest in trees and caves and like to cling onto trees to escape enemies or to hide. Okay, so from the looks of it, as you can see the abilities, it does have poison and radiation. And um, I mean, the description does say that it is quite toxic. So this is a pretty toxic creature. So now let's actually spawn in and check it out. All right, guys. So we have spawned in as the Nolumith and check it out. It is really, really cool. And again, it does have no eyes because uh, it is blind, but it has super sensitive whiskers, which are sensitive to, um, you know, sound and movement, all that stuff. So it's a pretty cool creature. And look at this, guys. This is the walking animation right here. This is a really, really cool creature. You should definitely get it. And it is pretty cheap. It is only 1,500 mushrooms from the rotation store. So highly recommend getting it and um yeah guys look at this creature look at the flying animation it's absolutely insane and also if you guys don't know it is a glider so pretty much what a glider is um it pretty much just glides like it can't actually fly and go up so if you do want to go up basically you just press on space and then you boost up a little bit and then you lose like a big chunk of your stamina just like that and yeah you can just keep on doing that and glide around and to actually regen stamina you have to land so yeah make sure you land so don't run out of stamina and there we go look at this guys look at it it's just a absolute monster all right so now let's check out the animations all right so first animation we're gonna be checking out is the aggro animation so hold on c on your keyboard or if you're on mobile your aggro animation button here we go look at this guys oh look at that i really like how it opens its mouth yeah that is absolutely insane look at that and then now let's do the x animation there we go and then the n animation and then the sitting animation and then the sleeping animation there we go guys those are all the animations for this creature and again it is a photo carny so it doesn't need water all it needs is meat and um that is really really good because water is sometimes really annoying to get all right so now let's actually talk about the abilities okay so the first ability that it has is it has iron stomachs which allows it to actually eat rotten food but you still take the damage, but you don't actually get any of the elements such as, you know, the sickness and all that stuff. So um, that's pretty good. But again, you do still take damage and you do still lose thirst. So yeah, um, it allows you to do that. And then its next ability is a very annoying ability. So if you hold Q, right, you just press it. As you can see, we are now emitting radiation. So any creature like around us or close to us is probably going to get radiation and it's just going to be really annoying and uh if you guys do this to big creatures they might get really mad and you know really annoyed and they probably will come and kill you because they want you to stop radiating because once they get enough radiation they will start taking damage so uh you know if you accidentally do press on q press on q again and you just stop emitting radiation and then you it's pretty much you can just toggle it on and off just like that like that we just turn it on uh 
there is no cooldown so you can just turn it off and on and um, yeah that is pretty much it for the abilities so um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this creature and now let's go and check out the other creature all right guys so now we're gonna be checking out the muraville and as you can see these are the stats it has 5200 hp 180 damage 4500 weight it takes 35 minutes to grow and it's a tier 3. Okay, so for the creature abilities, it has 40% bleed defense and 2% bleed reflect and it's a herbivore so it's actually pretty good the bleed reflect could come in handy okay so now let's actually read the description to get to know this creature a little bit better all right so Mervils are hardened creatures that develop a glass-like crystal all around their body throughout adulthood they use these crystals to confuse and reflect the attacks of anything that tries to hurt it they also have a habit of safeguarding certain areas where they graze because they consume so much food oh gosh um i don't know if that means anything but uh, does that mean that we have to eat a lot of food? I don't know. Maybe this creature does have quite an appetite. I don't know. We'll have to spawn in and check it out. But um, yeah, let's spawn in. All right, guys. So we have spawned in as the Muraville and check it out. It is pretty cool. It has really, really unique design. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but like the face, it's like, I don't know. It's just really like disturbing. It's like really like, it's really like, I don't know. It has a huge nose. It just looks really weird like the face, but everything else looks really nice and um yeah it has six legs look at this oh that is sick really smooth animations let's actually check out the eating animation oh look at that yo that is sick okay let's actually go check out the drinking animation too since we did check out the eating animation there we go look at that really cool creature overall and uh let's go check out its other animation okay so here's the z animation right here check it out Ooh, that, that is nice to the X animation now and then the N animation the N animation is actually really nice I don't know why but it kind of looks like a spider now because I mean it has six legs but yeah it, it looks like a like a spider all right let's do the sandy animation now there we go and then the sleeping animation and there we go. Those are all the enemy. Honestly, overall, this creature is a really cool creature and very, very unique designs because all the crystals and the tail is actually made out of crystals too, I believe. So that is really cool. And um, yeah, it does have the thorns ability or the bleed reflect. So uh, whenever you see the, one of these creatures, just be careful because it's probably going to reflect your bleed back to you if you do deal bleed. But um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. And you can also reflect attacks. So as you can see, look at this, guys. It has the reflect ability. So that is really, really nice. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this creature. And now let's get on to the final creature, which is probably the coolest out in this update. All right, guys, here is the Verza. And to me, it looks like a centaur. And it just has a bunch of really weird designs and really unique designs. But we just got to spawn in and check it out. But before we do that, let me just tell you guys how to actually get it. Okay, so to get the Verza, it is actually pretty hard because it is just like getting an Ares or a Sigma Tox or a Thera Lotus. And you have to get it from one specific person. And that one specific person can only trade it out. And they must have the recognized creator role. Okay, so if you guys don't know what a recognized creator is, well, a recognized creator is somebody that actually created a creature inside of the game. So you guys might be wondering how I actually got this one since I don't have these species. Well, pretty much what I did was I clicked on mushrooms, go to creatures, and scrolled all the way down, and here's the Burza. And in this mushroom shop, uh, again, you know, most people should know this already. You can buy pretty much any single creature in here for mushrooms, though it is quite expensive, but you only get a stored one, and it's grown to adult all for you already. So yeah, you can always get one from here. And look at it, guys. Yeah, it's a really cool creature. And if you just don't have enough time or don't have enough mushrooms to actually buy a real species, you can always buy a stored one from here or from other people that already have the species and are selling stored versions. But um, yeah, that is how I got mine. And now let's spawn in and check it out. All right, guys, here it is. The Verza. Look at it, guys. Its face is actually split into four pieces. And look at it. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. And I don't know if it's just me, but I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. But to me, um, it's it's pretty small. And um, yeah. All right. So first is first, let's actually check out stats. So as you can see, it has 5,500 HP. It does 425 damage. It has zero bleed. It's a tier four and it's a omnivore. So it eats both plants and meat. So that is really, really good to know. And um, yeah, just look at it. It's just so majestic and really, really cool. Okay. So now let's actually check out the animations. All right. So here's the Z animation right here. Yo, check that out. I like how its face like just opens up. Holy, that is crazy. 
Okay, so now let's do the next animation. Oh, okay, so it covers its face. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then to the end animation. There we go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then let's do the city animation. Oh, okay. Wow, that is pretty disrespectful. I don't know if it's just me, but it's pretty insane. It just like, it just like crosses its arm. It just like stares down at the person. Like imagine if there's a person in front of you right now. It's just like looking down on you. Like you're a mere mortal. Look at it. It's pretty insane. And then to the sleeping animation. Yo, that animation is really cool. The city animation is pretty cool. This is the sleepy animation right here. There we go, guys. And look at it, guys. Holy, this creature is pretty sick. Man, look at this. It is insanely cool. And wait, wait, what? It can fly? No way. Okay, guys, I did not expect this creature to fly. What the? No way. Wait, so guys, I was just testing out if it can actually fly. And I pressed on space, and this thing can fly. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, guys, this creature is insanely, insanely cool. And it can fly too. Like, it's pretty crazy. All right, guys, so it is now nighttime, and this creature is insane because its abilities are also pretty insane. So, the first ability that it has is it has the gold breath. So, just like the Ares, it has the gold breath. And the gold breath, pretty much what it does is it blurs people and, uh, you know, it does a little bit of damage. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's pretty annoying, the gold breath. And then the next ability that it has is it has bleed defense and it has bone break and the unbreakable ability and keen observer. And keen observer allows you to see the amount of HP that every single creature around you has. So you can see the HP of creatures around you. So yeah, that's absolutely insane. This pretty, this thing is honestly like a god. Like, look at it guys. It, it's literally a god. Like, I don't know, man. This creature is just insane. So um, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And be sure to tell me down in the comments, what are your thoughts on this creature? And um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.